you have an interest in science, then definitely pursue it. I think there's nothing worse than getting to the end of your education and then thinking, I should have done what I actually enjoy. Be okay with being really excited about something and pursue it, and that will drive you in your life. Other people will say, try and stop you from doing that, potentially, because it's not seen as cool. But if you have the strength to say, actually, you know what? I don't care, I'm going to do this anyway. The most important thing you can do is ask questions. So it's something that we all do in our day-to-day -day lives. It's just a skill that we have to develop. And sometimes it feels a bit weird or a bit wrong or like everybody else knows the answer. But I think one of the biggest things that I've learned in life as well as in science is that most people don't know the answer or some people are very good at pretending they do know the answer. Um, so never think that you are the least intelligent person in the room because everybody's intelligent about different topics and your perspective is the most important thing that you can bring to science. I don't think there's really anything else you can do where you can get that amazing feeling of doing something for the first time in the world. So it doesn't maybe come often in a career and the moments are few and far between, but there's always the opportunity to do something absolutely unique. The great thing about research is that you, you can just explore you know, anything you want. So, so the, but the most important thing is that you, you do something that you really like. Uh, and that actually, don't worry so much about what other people think about it, whether other people think it's, you should do something that's useful or, or, or if other people think that what you, you, what you like is, is pointless or trivial. Uh, because actually, in, sometimes the most interesting and important discoveries can come out of the most trivial, you know, beginnings. Working in science, mostly, I think it's really fun. And that's one of the things I had not true about when I was you know, a student like in high school, undergrad, whatever, it's like before you actually work in a lab and sometimes in like a lot of different labs and try it at different sort of things, like you don't realize you can actually like, you can do something you find fun on a daily basis. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, they get some say, say oh, I really wish I learned more now. It's, it's not uncommon. Um, but on the other hand, if it's, this is if you want to be a theoretician, if you want to go into neuroscience and be experimentalist, um, I would still learn, learn as much math as possible um, because the field is just going in that direction. Really embrace all aspects of science, even if you think one is more interesting than the others, because probably five, ten years down the line you'll be using all of them. Do it if you're interested in why the brain works as it does, and not for any other reason. <laughs> if you're curious in it and about it and you find it fascinating, just pursue it. You know, there are many ways to come and get involved. I know that if some excited student wanted to come and visit one of our labs or if they wanted to come and spend a few weeks here and get involved in some research, we'd be totally happy to have them. So there are ways and means of just, if you're excited, just reach out to people and then we'll be, we'll be excited to have you around and show you some science. And so there are definitely ways and means of getting involved. So. Don't think that you need to have certain grades or whatever, just, just reach out and get, get started. If you're interested at all in understanding how you learn, develop, grow, how you get excited about things, how you get inspired by things, then I would love to have you join <laughs> the neuroscience you know, research community because um, I think there should be more of that.